from yesterday, opening round here at the Fries.com Open. I want you to focus in on the left foot. Now, what I see uh, as we watch the swing in slow motion, as Rory gets into the ball and on through into the finish, back before the ankle injury, the weight tended to get on the outside of the left foot. You can see a few spikes on his shoe. Look now, though, the left foot is very flat. Also, back before the injury, whoop, finish. Back before left foot. Before his injury uh, this summer, at the moment, yeah, it's time for, uh, now for I just want to give uh, a Drayden. little bit of my own analysis on this before his injury uh, this and what they're talking about here with Rory McIlroy and his left ankle injury and I tell you what what I see before and after is he still has incredibly fantastic ground pressure how he springs off the ground and neither one of these pictures do I see his left foot stand flat on the ground he's actually kind of more like a basketball player springing off the ground but let's listen to Peter Jacobson here we go Talk to Peter about our value rising, uh, looking at uh, McElroy's swings there, Peter. Uh, a little bit of difference in how he's now getting through the ball since the injury. Yeah, and I think that injury has a reason that you see the two changes. First, let's talk with his left foot. Yeah. Remember when he sprained his ankle playing soccer, he did it going this way. So when you watch him in the swing before injury, he really moved over to his left side, and you can see some spikes. See, but that's something that I, is not I didn't see at all. He's trying to protect his left ankle. So as a result, he's trying to catch more of a flat left foot at impact, which again, like we talked earlier with Justin Rose, it gives him a firm left leg to turn on. Now, because he's catching a flat left foot at impact... Let me just hit pause help him get his upper and just say... Uh, Peter knows very little about ground pressure. Peter used to sway back and forth with his golf swing. So, here it goes. Body more up and down, whereas when you roll your left foot more, that's going to give you more of a coil and then give you that reverse C that you pointed out, Gary. So, the one change down below with his ankle injury, protecting that, that's going to change his balance and his rotation through the ball. So one leads to the other. And I also think, Peter, I don't know if you agree that uh, this newer swing with the weight going forward more with the upper body as he goes through and not hanging back quite as much, he won't have to use his hands as much. I wouldn't be surprised if he becomes even more accurate with the driver. I don't see any loss of distance, but I do see a little bit of improvement with accuracy, and I think that's going to work in his favor <laughs> as we move on into this new season. All right, well, let's take another look at the uh, swing he just made here off the 16th tee, uh, which was a very good swing. Okay, before we get here, let's just take a real close look at his left foot. I see him jumping off the ground, but here we go. Start the ball up the right-hand side of the fairway and turn it just slightly to the left. He's always had that beautiful, big, full turn, and now as he drives into the left, you can see right there the left foot staying down and nice and flat. Okay, got to do a replay of that. He's had that beautiful, big, full turn here off the 16th tee, uh, which was okay. a very good Again, to start the ball up the right hand side. Don't see it seeing stand flat on the ground at all. He's always Here's the spring. Full down into the ground. He drives into the left. You can see right there the left foot staying down and left nice heel leaves the ground. And the Just like always. Right shoulder, ending up closer to the target. 